Hello, this is John Enright with Custom Wealth Management. Thank you for investing a few minutes of your time into your financial life through this seven part series on financial wellness. Over the next couple of minutes, we're gonna cover the stimulus checks that you recently or hopefully will soon receive. Managing student loans, mortgage considerations, building a financial foundation, identifying threats to your financial goals, managing credit and debt, and creating a personal budget. With so many of us working from home, not working, or working less than usual the usual work week, what better time than now to review or start building your financial foundation? Taking these five steps will help ensure your financial foundation is rock solid. First, evaluate your overall financial situation and be very honest with yourself. Identify the debts that you owe and the interest rates that are applicable to each of those debts. Determine how much you have saved for retirement and how much you have saved for your children's education as well as other goals that you might have. Determine exactly what those goals are and be very clear on those goals as that's the first step in planning how to achieve those goals. Here are a few examples, but sh be sure to put all of your goals down on paper and just do not limit it to these three. Once you have your goals on paper, it's important to define them. Defining your goals means being very specific about each goal determining how you will measure your progress towards achieving that goal, identifying different strategies for attaining the goal, and does accomplishing this goal support other goals that you might have? And again, be sure to define what time frame you would like to accomplish the goal within. This will start you on a great path towards accomplishing your objectives and knowing exactly what you need to do. Next, prioritize your goals, and this will force you to sharpen your focus. Once you've prioritized the goals, be sure to create a plan of attack. Some examples would be, <clears throat> which debts do you have that are at the highest interest rates? And how can you focus on paying those debts down and eliminating them first? How much do you anticipate college costs being for your children? And how much of that cost do you wish to cover? And how can you best reach that goal? When do you want to retire? And what amount would you like to spend each year or month in retirement? Your time was well invested, and at this point you have some great takeaways. We are here to help you through this, and we welcome you to reach us with any questions or challenges you may have. Thank you, and please stay safe, and join us for the next part of this seven-part series.